I am African American. I am Caucasian or white. My name is Kalasia Thomas. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. Um, and TJ is my boyfriend. My name is TJ Ferry and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Um, so we both got to Sterling College. Um, and how we met was in the front of McCreary. It was, it was amazing. We just, I think she approached me and said hi. Nice to meet you. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and we started talking. It was, it was pretty cool. But we, I mean, we, like, we're friends, and then... We became really good friends. Yeah. And then now we're here, basically. So we met because of Sterling College. I have never been, like, in a couple's interracial inter relationship, but I do have some family members, like, outside married and family members who are not black. <clears throat> so I have had other, like, types of relationships with other people outside of my race. Um, I've never been in a, in a racial relationship before. Um, I don't know if this is important, but a lot of my friends are um, African American. And yeah, if you look at my family tree, it's not, it's not very diverse. Both of my African American friends, they were very like open to me. They like treated me like a son basically whenever like I went over to the house. There wasn't like any difference between how like they treated one of my friends, other friends, and me. Like color didn't really matter in that aspect. I think there were definitely stereotypes just because um, like they would point out things about me that I didn't, <clears throat> that I wasn't like aware of. I thought that was just normal for everyone. The kind of music that I listened to, like, you know, the high school musical jam, all that stuff. Um, <laughs> like, they call that, like, white music. Um, like, but they also, like, listened to some pop as well. So it was like, and also, like, I realized things about, like, them and how, like, they grew up. This is, like, a stereotype, but, like, uh, African American families are like loud, and I see that. I've seen that like in Kalaja's family, but I've also seen that in like their families as well. Um, like the kind of music that they listen to, like they would label it as like black music. They would say, This is not like your kind of music. They brought up differences, which is good sometimes, but it also can make you feel um, like secluded, yeah but I, they probably feel the same way too with a lot of society, especially where we lived. So I have like, a lot of like the family members that I'm talking about have either been like married in to the family like later on, like in life. So, I mean, it kind of is like the people are adults and people really don't, I guess, really have a say because they're not like close to my immediate family or whatever, so it's just kind of like, a thing that people don't talk about. Um, so a lot of those family members that I have that have been either married in or they're like mixed children or something like that. It's only like a few of them. So it's not really like, not really a big deal or I guess it's not really like talked about. Um, I would say for me more though, I have like my friend group. I've always been a very diverse person in a way of like me talking and being friends with everyone, no matter like if they were Hispanic or black or white or Asian or you know whoever like um, but with me growing up and me having different friends I didn't really um, I didn't get the stereotypes and different things like oh like that's black music that's white music um, within like my friend group I think that's something that like as a person gets older and they experience different things, that's something that they experience at that moment. But like when you're a kid, um, those things, and you're growing up, like, you know, we're not worried about color and all that. But um, so like within my friend group, um, growing up from like middle school all the way up into high school, like hasn't been that much like within my friend group. I mean, of course there's like, oh, like that's something that usually 
or like culture I think is a big thing so like my best friend Annika she's white and like she has like the whitest family ever <laughs> you know what I mean and so when I go to her family functions like they do things way different than like my at my family function ways or like so okay maybe celebrating Christmas let's just say that so um, this may be a culture thing or actually it sometimes like it depends on like a specific family too um, so I can't like really speak for like all black families and then all white families but comparing me and my friend um, so something that we do on Christmas is we open up gifts like Christmas at 12 o'clock on Christmas Eve or like basically Christmas but 12 o'clock so we open them on Christmas Eve um, and I know like at my friend's house her and her family like they wake up in the morning and they all sit on the couch and they like open them one by one and you know like that type of thing and I like if I was to spend a Christmas with my family I mean with my friend's family like that would be different um like a birthday party or something like just different ways of how we celebrate things and like like I said it could have a lot to do with just families and like how they were raised up or how like her parents and yeah were taught to do things versus mine um but yeah, so there are like some ways that black people do things versus like white people that are just, it just has to do with culture rather than like, it's just like what we've always done. So if that's like what we've always done, that's what we always know. So when we get like, when we have contact with other like cultures, it's like a culture shock a little bit. And it's like, oh, like you do, you do that that way. For instance, like for Easter, I went to Annika's house and they dyed their eggs and you know, they even have like whipped cream and they put like to dye in it. I've never seen anything like that before. But then I said, okay, how are you guys gonna eat them? Eat the eggs. Cause it's something that we always do. Like we dye the eggs, we hide them and we like eat them after we find them. They're like, no, like I've never, you know, thought about that. Like we, we just don't do that. So something that, that's an example of like, I mean, it's not right or wrong. It's just the culture of how they do things. So. Um. My parents didn't, like, at first they didn't treat it like it was anything different. Um, I also don't really know, like, if they took me seriously when I first said it. Because um, Clay and I, like, had been talking for a while and then, like, I asked her to be my girlfriend and I told them. Um, like, they, like, when I was dating my ex who was white, like, they said, the same thing as, like, like, be careful. <laughs> my parents, on the other hand, when I finally did, like, tell them, um, they were very not on board with it. I'll just say that. Um, and a lot of that has to do with my parents are, they have, they're, like, set in their ways, kind of, and they have, like, a way of doing things. And I think that I'm more of a risk taker and kind of go out of the box and why not type of person. And I think just because they're maybe a little older, they're like set in their ways. So they weren't like, TJ, like we love you, basically. It was really rough. It was really hard for them to get to a point to where like they even really like acknowledge that he was like somebody that I cared about. And also it was different and weird because I had never had a boyfriend before. So like I could not compare it to like like an ex or something. Um, but so yeah, my parents were, they were not on board with it. And it was like a, a wall that I had to like pray about. Like we prayed a lot about it and God like broke those walls down, thankfully. Um, and I believe my parents like began to see TJ for who he really was and just kind of like realized that if I'm happy, like that's all that matters. Um, so now, like we're in May, wow, we're in May. And like from January to May, like it has been like a huge difference. Um, we've been to like my house at a couple of family functions and stuff and like they accept him. He's like a part of the family. And like, I think stereotypes are always gonna be there because it's like, I, I think stereotypes are just saying like this culture is like known for this or this is like something that like your culture does and so I think it's always going to be a clearly it's going to be a difference like if he comes over my house he's like like oh we don't do it that way or like I'm not used to this but like that doesn't mean that it has to be a negative thing so I think 
the times that he has came over, um, he's come over my house. My parents have been more accepting, um, but before when they were not as accepting, it made me like feel sad because like I thought that like I was doing something wrong. Um, but I myself, before like, I could even like get with TJ or like become not really friends because I didn't have that like racial friend boundary, but I had like anything more from just like mindset of growing up, I guess like it was like a line that like it wasn't normal to do. Um, so I had to, God had to um, transform my mind into thinking in a God, more godly way. Um, and so when he opened my mind up to that, then I was able to like be to know TJ on a more personal level, um, and so after I like reached that point, then God like worked on my parents. So, yeah.